Hi guys, I thought I would pop on and do a book haul. It's been a while since I've done a book haul. I've been busy writing and working on My Name is Rapunzel. It's all going great. It's fantabulous. All that good stuff. Yay. Okay, so got a few books. I got quite a few more on my e-reader, my Nook, but I don't typically show those on here. Sorry about that, but if I really like them, then I'll go ahead and buy the book and then I'll show them to you. How's that? Okay, deal. Okay, so the first book um, I picked up is actually not a book. It's an audio book, but you know, hey, Sophie Kinsella, Wedding Night. Can you see that? Okay. Got to say, I love, love, love the audiobooks for Sophie Kinsella's books. Just, they crack me up. I'll drive down the road. <laughs> I'm laughing. People probably think I'm just crazy. Yeah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I love listening to her audiobooks. You know, the, you know, voiceover artists are fantastic. Her books are funny. They're fantastic. My favorite so far is Can You Keep a Secret? Keep that in mind, guys, if you want to listen to the audiobook. Um, yeah. They're wonderful to, to listen to. I'm just cracking up just thinking about it. Okay, yeah. So I'm part way into this one, liking it already. Can't wait to finish it. Okay, so the second book I picked up was by Karen Hawkins. It's part of the Duchess Diaries. It's called How to Pursue a Princess. Okay, yes. Thick little mass paperback. Mass paperback. Romance. Historical romance book. Quick little story about this. I seen on her Facebook, and if I can find the link, I'm going to put it below so you guys can read it. So I hope I don't say anything wrong. I guess her publisher and Barnes and Nobles kind of had words like, Ow. <laughs> anyway, Barnes and Nobles said that they would only stock one of her books, one of her books on the shelf. Anybody else who wanted it had to order it and they would ship it to their home for free. Okay, yeah, that's fine and dandy. <sighs> Shame on you, Barnes and Nobles. Okay, so I'm a member. Shame on you. So I'm thinking, okay, my Barnes and Nobles is different. My Barnes and Nobles isn't going to do that. But, you know, we're talking about corporate America here, people. Yeah. I went in there. <laughs> no book. I talked to the guy behind the counter. Can I help you with anything? Yes. I want this book. Where is it at? And I told him the little story while he's looking it up, and he said they didn't even stock one. Not one. Shame on you, Barnes and Nobles. Shame on you. So, I, they said, oh, you remember, you know, we can ship it to your house for free. No, no, I was not happy with that. I knew the story behind it. I was not happy. Shame on you. Okay, I, but I still love you, Barnes and Nobles. But shame on you for doing this. Okay, so I went home. I mulled over it for a while. Thought about it. I just waited for it to come out at our local Walmart. It took two weeks. <laughs> so I picked it up. All right, so finally got it in my hands. Yay! Okay, so yeah, love Karen Hawkins' little books. All right, so next book in, um, well, it's not the next book in the series. It's a spinoff from the series, um, Rachel Hawkins' School Spirits. I really like the Hex Hall series, so I picked this up. And hey, thank you, publishers, for staying in keeping with the original covers like on Hex Hall series. You did something right. Kudos to you guys. So, yeah, can't wait to get into this one to see how this goes. Yeah. So, also um, picked up the second book in the selection series by Kara Cass. It's called The Elite. So, love the cover. Um, it's, it's like reddish compared to the other one that was bluish or turquoise. Okay, so, yeah, I'm probably going to wait to read this series until after the third one comes out. I know, that's just the way I do some books, but okay. And also picked up the final book in. Um, God, what series is it from? Oh, I don't know. It's called If I Should Die but, but by Amy Plum. It's the third book. I love the covers. And thank you again, publishers, for staying in keeping with books one and book two. This one's kind of the orangey feel. Love the covers. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So even if I decided I didn't like the books, I'm going to keep them because the covers are fabulous. You know, not like um, the Born Wicked book. I'm sure you guys have seen that. And I know I'm getting off topic here. But Born Wicked, gorgeous cover. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. And this is probably a rant coming on in another video. But have you guys seen book two? What it looks like? I'm going to pop it up here for you guys. God, it doesn't match. Look at how gorgeous this one is. And you know, she's laying in the grass. It's gorgeous. Look at that one. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know that I'm going to actually buy that book. I think I'll probably just buy it on ebook when it goes on sale because I'm really saddened by the fact that it's not going to match this one unless they've changed it somehow before it actually was released, but I doubt that's going to happen. Shame on you, publishers. Shame on you. Stay in keeping with the book. Okay, I know. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Enough of my rambling. That was my book haul with a little rant. You know, hey, <laughs> we all have those days. But you guys have a great week, and I cannot wait to talk to you again. All right, bye now.